cannot squeal that loudly. Hooray! Albert is born! Yippee! Yippee! He can already talk and wiggle both ears! I think he's grown again. Dear citizens, I am deeply saddened to inform you that Kelly Town is now a town without a statue. The boy must supply us with a new one. He's only a little boy. By the way, his name is Albert. Yeah, yeah. He can do that when he grows up. You are so sweet. Well, in that case, it's settled then. I can only wish that Albert could get us a real hot air balloon captain to once again make Kelly Town proud, rich, and famous. <laughs> oh, do you remember that, honey? Of course. Amazing how fast he grew. And started school with his best friend Egon, the little rascal. Yeah. <laughs> But Albert was never friends with Pele, was he? Oh, no. Oops, the shoemaker's pear tree. Here comes trouble. <laughs> that shoemaker's as bitter as his pears are sweet. <laughs> Aw, 
look at those two boys. They are totally inseparable. Yeah, they must be the best friends in the world. Pirates Club, Hot Air Balloon Club. Pirates Club, Hot Air Balloon Club. Pirates Club, Hot Air Balloon Club. Pirates Club! It was always a hot air balloon club. But we don't have a hot air balloon. We don't have a pirate ship either. Or cannons. And you need those. Otherwise, you're not a real pirate. Mm, then I don't want to be part of that club. OK, but what then? Maybe we could kidnap somebody. Great idea, Egon. That's exactly what scoundrels do. There's Judith. Let's take her. Are you crazy? But what about her mother? We'll scare her away. I wouldn't dare do that. What if she screams? Then we will flee. That is what scoundrels do. Come on. Ah! Attack! Ah! 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 Look, Mom. I go to school with them. The funny-looking one with the glasses is Albert. Shh. And the... Don't talk about other people like that. Remember, beauty comes from the inside, you know. I heard that. Just you hang on. <laughs> Aren't they funny, Mom? <laughs> You're right. They look very funny, but also really rather dirty. Yes, but can I stay and play with them anyway? Ooh, absolutely <laughs> not. They probably have fleas. <laughs> you seem to always cause trouble. Didn't you also ruin the statue, little one? Huh? Come along, Judith. See you later. Did you hear that? She called me Little One and patted me on the head. Oh, I told you. We should have formed the Pirates Club instead, Albert. No one would have called you Little One then. People in this town don't like me because of the statue. I know how we're going to change that, Egon. Come on! Whoa. It's about time. Ta-da! Well, I never... Wait, I think those might be my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and they're my boots. And now, Egon, start the engine. And now for the icing on the cake. Oh. That cheeky rascal. At last, Kelly Town has a statue with a great big hot air balloon. Uh, what? Oh. 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 what? That's my belt. I'm gonna get you, Albert. Uh, they were my underwear. Naughty boy. Albert, yeah. what were you thinking? Do you call this correcting your mistake? Oh. Uh, oh. Dear friends, people of Kellytown, that was just a small taster. You mean there's more? Not only will you get a statue, no. Kellytown needs a real hot air balloon captain. So I'm going out into the world. Yeah. 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 When I return... Ah, oh. uh, don't tell me. I'll no longer be Albert. I will be Balloon Captain Albert. Kelly Town's homegrown hero. That's, That's our big, big strong, strong boy. boy. He, he is, is so, so smart and clever. Of all the nutcases that ever lived in this town, Albert is definitely the nuttiest. <laughs> I thought we were buddies. Of course we are buddies. 
What are you talking about? Or you're going to leave me. Such nonsense. You're coming with no me. No way. I am only coming if we can be pirates. But, but I can't leave without you, Egon. You are my best friend. Well, you'll have huh? to, because I'm staying here. And that's that. Oh, you want to huh? be the captain of a hot air balloon? You've always been full of hot air. <laughs> hey. You're just one of those small, goofy guys with a cotton ball for brains. <laughs> so listen, you little squirt, I rule this town, and in this town, I make the rules up, and I rule that you are ruled out. Amy. And if you don't like it, then tough. Did you oh. get that? I don't want any trouble, especially from you. Are you being dumb or just cheeky? Um, just dumb? Ah, so you are just cheeky. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you how we deal with belt thieves like you. <laughs> you won't be captain of a hot air balloon anytime soon. <laughs> and if you try to run, you'll get what's coming. Darn. Why does some big bully always make life difficult for us little ones? It's not fair. <laughs> um, there's a boy in your hen house, sir, and I get the feeling he's up to no well, good. I never. How dare the little rascal. Egon! I'll show him. He'll regret this. I'll teach you not to let my chickens out. Those chickens cost good money. <laughs> You'll Always up for, for one heck of a big surprise. What? So that's what you think, you long, lazy <laughs> beanpole? Don't. I'm not that easily fooled. Yeah. Come on. Watch the hairdo, man. When I am <laughs> done with you, buddy, <laughs> then I will build a fence twice as tall around my garden so none of you cheeky boys can get anywhere near my pails and chickens. You hear me? Ha. When you and I return in a hot air balloon, buddy, then we will fly right over that tall fence. Right, Egon? Don't you ever listen to what I'm saying to you, Albert? I don't want to go, okay? Yeah, yeah, but I thought... <sighs> Best ever. Don't you want a pancake? You know your mom makes the best ones in the world. I'm not hungry. What? Well, you always loved your pancakes. Hmm. What's the matter, honey? Nothing. Albert, did something happen with Egon? Did you have an argument? Oh. More than an argument. Albert, you are the world's smartest boy. You understand that others can have a different opinion to yours, right, son? Everybody disagrees sometimes. But he won't go out into the world with me. Maybe he's just afraid of the unknown. He just needs time to think about it. Just wait a few years. Then he'll probably want to come along. I can't wait that long. <sighs> Good night. I'm going to bed. Yeah, he has a bright future. Our big, strong boy. Think of something. Egon has to come with me.
got it. Stings a rotten fish. I wish it smelled more like candy. But I have to get Egon to come with me. And now I have a way. You could trick Pele and then just slip out of town without your punishment. Well, you can forget all about flying in a hot air balloon. Why do you always have to ruin everything? Just because it's lots of fun. Uh, is it because you are jealous? Jealous? Me? Of a little squirt? Ha! I may be smaller than you, but I'm not the one getting my ears pulled by the shoemaker. How about I teach you a little lesson, small fry? Ah! <laughs> Wanna take a shot?
Every summer, every boy's tummy is filled with plum so yummy. Yes, and a very good morning to you. Will you pinch me, Albert? I think I'm dreaming. At your service, sir. Ow! <gasps> what have you done, Albert? Where am I? You are on an adventure of What were you thinking? I said I didn't want to go. Yeah, but I just thought you wanted to come But you anyway. kidnapped me. Albert, you don't kidnap your best friend. Uh, pirates do. And you get to wear my best bandana. Here. So, what's the plan? I already told you. We're going out into the world to look for a hot air balloon. How about we start looking for pirate's treasure? Then we can buy a hot air balloon. No, we gotta steal it. People with hot air balloons don't just want to sell them. It's totally obvious. Oh no! The bottle's leaking! We're sinking! Quick! Let's scoop it out! All right. Now listen carefully. We have to go rob this diamond. And... Fellas, if you don't remember the plan, we will definitely end up in prison. Okay, so I will yell and make a big fuss, and then the bald man will run after me because he will think that I'm gonna steal his diamond. Correct. Folks that's got incredibly large diamonds tends to get incredibly nervous and thinks everybody else wants to steal them. But, uh... What about me? Oh, for goodness sake. What you gotta do, Einstein, is sneak into the tent and steal the diamond. Well, why do I end up with the most dangerous stuff? Why can't you just steal it yourself? Because I'm taking care of the big, dangerous watchdog. You total numbskull. And besides, my muscular physique means I'm too big to crawl through the bars of a display case. Uh, what now? But I'm too big as well. <laughs> we all are. Well, that's probably because you two spend so much time stuffing your faces. Okay, I'll give you twenty dollars. Uh, each. But even if you gave us five hundred dollars each, we'd still be too big. Oh, what is a poor man supposed to do? I'm surrounded by fools. <laughs> who, who is that? <laughs> Quickly, you lazy nitwits! Catch those two little guys! They can oh, crawl through oh, the ball. I'll get them, boss! I got them! Oh. 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 Help! I can't swim! Oh. Oh. Help! Oh, I can't either! Get away! Help! Help. Oh, oh, must I do everything myself? Hold this. Hmm. Hello? Wyatt, I'm thinking here. Gotta find me another two kids. <laughs> but we are right here. Oh, a wise and clever little guy. Ah, uh, and you have come to help the big and strong Rapallo. Are you a pirate? No, but I am a different sort of a pirate. Like a pirate huh? that robs people on the road uh, and not on the sea. Uh, no, no, silly. Uh, <laughs> silly boy. <laughs> I am a pickpocket. The world's <laughs> greatest pickpocket, in fact. <laughs> Oh, boy, what's going on here? Yeah, you stink. Oh, you stink of rotten fish. Yeah, our ship was a barrel for herring. And we've gone out into the world to become pirates. <laughs> okay. That is okay. exactly okay. the kind of fella Definitely I'm searching for. We're okay. 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 We're okay.
Could you teach us how to steal a pirate's treasure? I can teach you how to steal the world's biggest diamond. Whoa. It's actually my own diamond, but a nasty man with a striped shirt stole it from me. Well, if he stole it from you, then Egon and I will definitely help you steal it back. But we need money. Can we get some of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Massive amounts of money. But hold on. What do two little guys like you need masses of money for? We need to buy a hot air balloon. <laughs> a hot air balloon. <laughs> of course. All smart boys need a hot air balloon. <laughs> but hey, we better hurry to the market, which just happens to be where the diamond is. But hold on, it's also a pretty good place to buy a hot air balloon. <laughs> Now, come on, you lazy animal! Oops, I'm thirsty, and I'm bursting to go. Be quiet, <laughs> you numbskulls! You're gonna have to wait until we get to the market. And when we get to the market, we're gonna get the world's very best pancakes. Not true. My moms are the best in the world. That reminds me, I didn't get to say goodbye to my mom and dad. That's your fault, Albert. My fault? If I hadn't helped you, Egon, you would have never left. Left or right? Left or right? Helped me? Tubby, uh. <laughs> do you remember that time I helped you to steal the Sultan's dentures out of his mouth? Yeah, he was sound asleep snoring. And he had no idea that it was <laughs> us. He gave us a reward when we returned them to him. <laughs> <laughs> you and me. Uh. We're a really smart bunch of guys. Stealing dentures, more adventures! You are both cheats. Were you planning to trick us with the diamond, too? Kid, you better believe it! <laughs> we never do that. <laughs> no, we're honorable pickpockets. We only steal from all the rich folks. Yeah, and give to the poor. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've even heard about us. <laughs> what? what? Get a move on, you old flea bag! Oh, at this rate, it'll take at least a week to get to the market. And I'm already sick of listening to you two nincompoops! Stubborn beast! Let's keep those hooves of yours moving! Hey! Well, well, what have we got here? <laughs> a hard-working goat farmer in need of assistance. Oh, sure do. Things aren't going so good today. Let me give you a hand. Uh, I happen to know quite a bit about goats. For example, if you want to get your goat to market, well, you gotta pull it in the opposite direction. Yeah, they're stubborn like mules, these goats. Whoa, boy. There you go. Amazing. Well, how can I thank you, sir? You please accept a humble coin. Such goodwill is rare nowadays. Oh, oh I've lost my wallet. All my money. <laughs> I must have dropped it somewhere. What am I gonna do? Huh? What am I gonna tell them at home? Well, uh, I'm ruined. Uh, don't be silly, don't mention it. You can give me something when you sell your goat. And it just so happens I'm on the way to the market myself. Yeah, be around here someday. <laughs> hey, throw these little earnings in the chest. You took his wallet. I didn't take it. I found it. No, you did not. Yes, I found it. In his pocket. 
<laughs> yeah, right. The great Rapala steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Ha! Huh. He's just a crook, and he's gonna try and trick us too if we're not careful. He's just a swindler. That's what swindlers do. You're too suspicious, Egon. Let's just get to the market. You're right. Let's all go see the market. No, 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 no. We all have to go to bed. We've got a very busy day tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like you're already wearing your pajamas. Uh... <laughs> hey! Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Ah, you can sleep under there with the rest of them. Get out! Good night, Egon. Night, night. to go see the market. No, no. You oh. need to see the plan. This here is the diamond. Uh -huh. This here is us. Uh -huh. And this is the watchdog. Huh? <laughs> That's not a dog. A dog doesn't have a trunk. <laughs> What? It's the police! They're coming this way! Then we're out of here! Here, hold that! I don't feel like talking to the police right now. You're not so brave She Cheeky brat! You really don't want to see my bad side. How about hiding in this chest instead? I think you can just about fit. Uh, guess I'm gonna have to. Don't forget to let me out again. You forget. It's no more, Mr. You have to be completely quiet. The police are coming. Hello, sir. Uh, hi, it's the police. Uh, say, you're not doing anything illegal in here, are you? Say, where are you boys from? From home. Don't be cheeky. Are you alone in that wagon? No. <gasps> I don't see anyone else. Who else is in here? The parrot. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> what, uh, what's in the chest? Oh, it's full of Batman. <gasps> <laughs> mm, very funny. But you did ask. You are just two insolent vagabonds. Uh, come on, we got more important things to do. We are on the lookout for dangerous criminals. So, you have been informed. <laughs> have they gone? Yes. Then let me out! No, you'll have to wait. Huh? We're gonna take a look at the market first. Come on, Albert. <laughs> Wow, 
Why did you lock the chest? Because Rapala wouldn't let us go see the market. Yeah, and maybe some me time will do him good. Two hundred dollars? You can't mean that. It's worth at least five hundred dollars. It, it's my best and fattest goat. Hang on. There's the goat farmer Apollo took the money from. Come on, fattest Egon. goat. That animal is so emaciated, you should have carried it here in your arms. Two hundred dollars is all you're getting. Two hundred dollars? You ruined me. Me and the wife, we have given huh? this goat everything. It's been feeding on beets, potatoes, and cabbage. <laughs> Two hundred dollars, and not a cent more. If that skinny animal has had anything to eat, it can only have been a diet of dried prunes. It's rotten inside. <laughs> that poor goat farmer is getting tricked again. Three hundred dollars, then? Shh. Okay, then. That's a deal. I'm a generous man. I suppose it's not a bad goat, really. Actually, it's quite a nice animal for that price. Three hundred dollars for a purebred goat as fat as a hippopotamus? Yeah, what a swindler. We gotta do something. Mm. Got it. Hi there. I would like to buy that goat. Excuse me, sir. Are you selling this goat, or are you not selling this goat? Get out of here, boy. Just get lost now. You hear What's me? What's your best price for the goat? Give me that. I don't deal with little kids. I thought you were a big businessman. Huh? But you can't handle a little boy. Okay, then. Why don't we say $600? You won't have any money. Ha! Kids never do, I'm telling you. Six hundred dollars? For a goat so small and skinny? I'd have to roll a home in a wheelbarrow. I'll give you two hundred dollars. Sorry, excuse me. Ah, well. Let's pretend you have some money. <laughs> you can have it for five hundred dollars. Huh? Yeah. It's leaking. Two hundred dollars, not a cent more. That boy was not born yesterday. He deserves to get the goat. Yes, indeed. You can have it for two hundred dollars, but I want my money now. In cash. Ah, of course. Here it is. Here you go. Hang on, I, I was only joking. <laughs> yeah, now get lost. And leave me to my business. No, wait. Give the kid the goat. A trade is a trade. Yes. Hand over the animal to the boy. Yeah, we don't want any cheating. Sure, I will. I am an honest businessman. There you go. Here's your goat and your cash. But I did use two hundred dollars. Well, then I'm up a hundred dollars, and I got my goat back. Oh, how can Whoa. I thank you? You saved my life. My wife would have been furious if I'd have come <laughs> home with so little money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Albert, remember that we need to look around the market. But the farmer got his goat back and made a profit. Yeah, yeah, you did good, Albert. But uh -huh. come on. You thought you could get one over on the Great Rapala, did you now? Oh, uh, Toby and that too, eh? <sighs> we just wanted to see the market. Yeah, but that's done now. How about stealing that diamond? Huh? Yeah, let's get going. That diamond won't steal itself. You guys are some clever kids, huh? And now, let's go and get our hands on that, uh, I mean, uh, my diamond. Wow, look at that. I've always...
always wanted to go see that. Oh, can we go see that now? Not now. We'll have to wait. Hmm. Hmm. In this very tent, you can see the world's biggest and most expensive diamond. You will not believe your eyes. Now listen up. Uh, 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 what are you? Uh, you gonna cause a distraction. I'll deal with the dog, and Come you on, guys. Mm -hmm. right, don't be shy. Just wait till you I give the signal. Okay, guys? Wonder. You get it? Wait till I give the signal. Understood. Come on, come on. Huh. Step on up and witness the most amazing, the most fantastic spectacle of the whole universe. Amaze your friends. Tell them that you were the first to witness this natural spectacle. This is a Can you hear any signal? <laughs> no? I want my money back. That diamond is just a yeah, fake. It's a swindle. We're not paying to see a piece of colored glass. <laughs> I also want my money back, right now. There, there, my good people, calm down. The diamond is genuine, I assure you. And no one's been a uh, hood What's well, run a humbug? My good man, I can assure you, it is a misunderstanding. Wait, there's the signal. Come on. Hey, where the heck huh? in the wide world have you been? We're in the middle of a diamond heist. I can't keep this dog off me much longer. Huh? Hurry, get under the tent! Whoa! I am an awful man. Two of those people. We can sort this out later. Wow. There's no way that anybody else would Let's go. Excuse me, ma'am. There ain't no diamond in the world can compare. I assure you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what is going on here? He's a cheat. How so, ma'am? Nobody here. Wow. I have put everything I own into this beach. We better take it. Oh, my stars. I presume I'm very sorry. Sparky's Somebody keep an eye on that. Uh, it is now 8.15 p.m., and that dog is officially under arrest. Bertram, you can't just arrest a dog. But you're not allowed to bite a police officer in the buddy. Let's just see the diamond. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, of course. Uh, yeah. To fire off yeah. uh, step this way, you too can witness the world's most quickly. amazing diamond. Uh, for free. Uh, no! The diamond! Kill. So there is no diamond, you cheat. And people paid a lot of money for that. It's fraud. You are under arrest. <laughs> the diamond was stolen. Stolen, you say? For that theft. Theft? Call the police! I think I saw the culprits. It was two boys. Had they any distinguishing characteristics? Well, yes, they look cheeky. Then we know who that is. Well, whomever can catch these hooligans, I'm going to give them a generous reward. We will take care of this. Leave it in the hands of the police. We made it. Yes, but uh, what if somebody saw us? Oh, you're always so cautious. You can't even see the police without getting into a state. Talking about the police? Huh? After them. What did I just say? We gotta split up, quick! Okay, okay, 
I'll take stripy shirt, you take his cheeky friend. I'm going this way, you're going that. Got it. What's up? Good day. Uh, what do you say here? <laughs> How about hi? Uh, hi. I'm Jamila, and this here is my grandmother, Tahira. What's up, dude? She wants to be a true American. That's why she talks that way. What's your name? Econ. Jamila means beautiful, just so you know it. <laughs> yes, that's plain to see. What does Egon mean? Uh, uh I think it just means Egon. Or, uh, a good one. And, uh, I'm a pirate. <laughs> you're funny. If you're a pirate, then I'm a teacher. And my grandma is a supermodel. World-class supermodel. Well, actually, she's a psychic. A psychic? Then I have something I'd like to ask her. Something about my friend Albert and I. My grandma needs something personal from both of you. Um, uh... <gasps> nice pair of pants you have there. <gasps> oh. These are my pajama <laughs> pants. Holy cow, Egon. This is totally awesome. <gasps> but I don't have anything from Albert. Oh, no way, man. So not cool. Hang on. Ah, uh, where to go, Egon? Ah, uh, now good. Give me a glimpse of what it sees. Oh, la 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 Crystal ball, let me see. Show me what the future will be. Ah, I don't believe it. Mom! Dad! You don't have to be sad. The ball shows everything randomly. Your mom and dad are probably not sad anymore. Come on, Grandma. Show us what will happen right now. You have to live in the present, even if you can see the future. That's what my grandma always says. Give me a glimpse of what it sees. And make it snappy, or you'll end up a disco ball. Are you certain? But did he get the diamond? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I saw that kid take off with the diamond. My diamond. <laughs> the little fools think I want to do a deal with them. I knew it. They're all <laughs> crooks. Now let's catch that little chicken brain. I cannot wait for my precious diamond. Rapallo has always been bad news. <laughs> He's so funny. Is that the boy who was buying the goat? That's my friend Albert. He's on his way to Apollo with the diamond. Hurry, we gotta stop him. <laughs> Here you go. And now you can give us our reward. No, stop! <laughs> Reward? Oh, bless. The reward is we're going to be best friends again. Got it? Reward. <laughs> I told you, Albert. He's just a crook. <laughs> Run! What? Oh, oh, you nitwit, you nitwit, you nitwit, you nitwit! What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> we fixed him real good. Yep, we're a couple of smart guys, all right. Funny, though, that those boys thought we would share with them. And to think those little guys thought it was my diamond. <laughs> well, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> They've nothing between their ears. <laughs> yeah, they might be even dumber than you, Tubby. Yeah, that's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor diamond owner. Now he has neither hair nor a diamond. <laughs> now, let's go and celebrate. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. <laughs> it's all my fault. 
I should have listened to Egon. That Rapallo is a crook, but Albert never listens. But I think he's sort of cool. You don't know what he's like. He gave the money back to the farmer. That was good of him. Yeah. But he will always only do what he wants to do. An egotist. What does he want to do? He wants to be a hot air balloon captain. That's a very good idea. My but he'll never be one now. Not while those crooks have him. We have to rescue him. Uh, I don't know. Come on, he's your best friend. Yeah. But how but can we? We really <gasps> show that little carrot top who's boss. <laughs> yep, his playing smart days are definitely over. Yep, all done. <laughs> what have they done to Albert? We have to find out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Albert! <gasps> Albert, where are you? In here, inside the sack. <gasps> Egon! I'm so happy to see you! <laughs> uh, 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 sorry. Hey, no problem. I told you that Rapallo is a crook. Never mind that. Let's get out of here. Rapallo will be back any second now. You are an egotist. Did your mom and dad never teach you to listen? You may be of the opinion that I don't listen, Egon, but you can leave my mom and dad out of this. Gee, that Rapallo should have boxed your ears anyway. You don't use them for anything. That is not true. I use them to wiggle. Watch. And that's not a bad skill for a hot air balloon, Captain. Come on, guys. Can't you just be buddies? You're impossible, Albert. Hey, hang on a second. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Albert, let's get a move on. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, keep up. <laughs> Are you like a normal girl? No, I'm a fairground girl. <gasps> Do you want me to show you around? I know all the good places. We'd love that, but I would like to have a little chat with Egon first. <sighs> <clears throat> I'm sorry that I didn't listen. Oh, don't be silly. It's nothing. That's how real scoundrels are. And sorry I'm so egotistic. <laughs> but you're still my best friend. Come on, girls. Let's get moving. <laughs> Sensation! Imagine seeing a lady cut in two pieces! Children aren't allowed to look. It's way too scary. Isn't there a back way? Of course. You just have to sneak behind the tent and crawl under. Awesome! I think I'll stay here and eat gingerbread with Jamila. I'm not a big fan of real blood. Okay. I'll be back in a second. It's all happening here today! The greatest show on earth! Roll up, roll up, roll up! Ladies and gentlemen! Prepare to be amazed! Please welcome on stage the lovely lady from Shoot. Hamburg. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the lady will crawl into this empty box. 
This lovely lady will place her lovely legs outside the box for all to see. Mind your head. And now you will see me with this saw. And I will saw this lady in half. <laughs> Sorted too. <laughs> but people are being tricked. <sighs> A real hot air balloon. Yeah, and the captain is my grandpa. He can see everything from up there. Uh -huh. It's disappeared. We can just ask my grandma to look in her crystal ball and see where it's heading. Come on. Yeah. We really are a couple of smart guys. Yeah, and we caught that pesky little boy. And we got a hold of the diamond. Now, we just need our reward. Yeah. Oh, oh. God. That boy stinks some fish even more than he did before. Mm. Oh. Oh. Why me? What is the... Great Rapallo done to deserve this! Uh, uh, so what about our reward? Reward? Re you brainless fool! <laughs> fish at Starboard! Find that boy before he blabs to the police, and then we can talk about a reward. But if he blabs to the police, we'll go straight back to prison again. And we definitely don't want that to happen. So go get him then! <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> It's get a task. Wow! <laughs> Grandma, the picture is disappearing. Concentrate. Oh, this is so random. It's not working, this cheap junk. Oh, oh no. I completely forgot. Rapolo has the diamond. And it's all my fault. Uh-oh. The situation has escalated. I gotta get hold of that diamond and give it to its rightful owner, right now. We get that diamond. True scoundrel buddies always help each other out, right? Yeah, definitely. Thanks for your help, Tahira. And when you find it, don't forget to give Rapallo a knuckle sandwich. The coast is clear, come on. You hold the parody gun, I'll take the key. And you make sure Rapallo doesn't wake up, Jamila. No, we're not. Oh, you're not. 
Well, then I guess you couldn't have stolen a diamond, right, huh? No idea what you're talking about. So, then you wouldn't mind if we look in your pockets, kid. Uh -huh. Certainly not, sir. Oh, actually, wait, I can't check your pockets if your hands are in them. Oh, right. Hmm. I'll check the other little thief. <laughs> that tickles. Whoops. Well, looky here. Yeah, whoops, right? This is not your diamond, is it, you little crooks? It's not what you think. Albert and Egon are innocent. They were just on their way to the bald man in order to give him his diamond. Yeah, sure. Everyone knows that criminals return to the scene of the crime. We're on to you, little girl. Your grandmother's the psychic. She pretends to tell people the truth. Your grandmother's full of lies, and I'm sure you are, too. Now beat it or we'll arrest you as well. Hmm. You going home, Jamila. Okay, but I will be back. I just got an idea. Now you're coming with us. Move it, you little punks. Well, sir, I think these two little boys have something they want to say to you. Okay, then. What do you want to tell me? It's nothing. You wouldn't believe us anyhow. Adults always stick together. Well, then the police must step in once again. As usual. Yeah. It so happens that we have caught the diamond thieves. They don't look like much, but they're dangerous. Yeah, when we caught them, they lied. And then they tried to escape. That's not true. We wanted to return the diamond, honest. That's right. We didn't do anything wrong. We did help to steal it, but we thought... It's not for you to think. It's for us to know. So do you confess? But that's not what I said. Here is the evidence. We found it on them. <gasps> My diamond! My diamond! And don't say that we only catch those without lots on their bikes. <laughs> What are we gonna do, Albert? I don't know. I really miss my mom and dad. I'll never see them again. I just wish we were back home in Kellytown. Yeah, but nobody likes me there anyway. That's not true. Your mom and dad do. Well, that doesn't really count. It's the parents' job to like their kids. And Jamila. She's gone too. <sighs> but she said that she'd be back. Yeah. We can only hope. Wait till you hear what I dreamt about. Huh? Darn. It wasn't a dream. <gasps> so, are you ready for your punishment? But we told you. It wasn't our fault. We were tricked by some real robbers. Yeah. Tubby, Natty, and Rapala. What would it take for you to believe us? Oh, I don't know. Maybe if an angel floats down and confirms your explanation. And that's not very likely now, is it? Come back.
<sighs> Say hi to my grandpa. You're the hot air balloonist from Kellytown? Why, yes, actually. How did you know that? I recognized you from the statue. Well, I will be darned. They put up a statue of me in Kellytown? <laughs> uh, not anymore. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. I've come here to help two innocent boys. Everything they say is true. I see things from my hot air balloon. Things that other people cannot see. What kind of things would those be? Wow. Yeah, and I can yeah. guarantee you that the real crooks are Apollo, Natty, and Tony. And Albert thought that the diamond belonged to Apollo. And he's really sorry about it. He just wanted to give the diamond back to the yeah. rightful owner. I just wanted to make some money so I could buy a hot air balloon and fly home to Kellytown as a hot air balloon oh. captain. That is my biggest wish. You don't say. But first I think we should teach that Rapallo and the other two crooks a lesson. Yeah! And I know exactly how to do that. What? Now keep your eyes peeled for those kids. Gotta get to them before they get any Ooh. bright ideas. <laughs> <Ooh. Huh>? <laughs> 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 Numbskulls? You thought you could get away with it, didn't you? Well, you got another thing coming, I tell you that! Yeah, you thought you could get away, right? <clears throat> Hand over my diamond. <sighs> Here you go, then. Oh. <sighs> Nobody gets away with taking the great Rob Hollow's stolen goods. Uh, I've been planning this little heist for way too long. Mm -hmm. I'm the one tricking you. Not the other way around. Yeah, it's us tricking you. Not the other way around. There's no doubt about it. We're real sly tricksters, us three, eh? Funny how you fell for all my <laughs> tall tales. Mm -hmm. How dumb can you be? <laughs> but now the diamond is finally mine, and nobody can take it from me. <laughs> I think we'll be the judge of that. In the name of the law, I hereby arrest you. I think these two. You really think so? You there? You're really gonna get it. My name is not Rapallo. Tubby! Tubby! Get this man off of me! I'll oh, shoot Something I want to ask you, Albert. Would you be interested in an almost new hot air balloon? Sure would. You see, I have dreamt about becoming more grounded, so I can spend more time with my girls. And I'll teach you how to fly. Do you really mean it? 
I think you'll make the perfect new hot air balloon captain of Kelly Town. Yippee! I can't believe that someone would give a hot air balloon away. I definitely didn't count on that. No, it's not something that happens every day, and it comes with a pirate spyglass. Egon, would you like to be the pirate captain of my ship? Yeah, I'd like that very much. Then we have a deal. Thank you so <laughs> much. You know what, Albert? I think that a hot air balloon is perfect for a modern pirate. <laughs> but we could use a fairground princess as well. Mm. Want to come with us, Jamila? Why, thank you. I'm flattered to be asked by boys who normally hate girls. We don't hate fairground girls, though, right, Egon? But I really have to stay here and help my grandma and my grandpa. Aww. But that's all right. Now that you have a hot air balloon, you can just come visit me. You're right! to go over the mountain tops and watch out for the pointy bits. <laughs> Don't forget to visit me. You can count on that. You know what? Jamila would make a great balloon pirate. Yeah. Maybe not all girls are annoying. What do you think? <laughs> it will be so nice to get back to Kellytown. Yeah. I'd really love some of my mom's pancakes. Wouldn't you? Yeah. With some pears. <laughs> Someone's a bit nosy, right, Grandma? I see into the future, darn it. It is my job, girlfriend. Hey, look! Albert's mom and dad. And Egon's parents. <laughs> They're all happy again. Look! Everybody gets to go in the hot air balloon. <laughs> Look at those high flyers. My goodness. Whoa, look at that big bully. He looks like he's going to hit Albert. Oh, no, no. Uh, he is just uh, kidding. Uh, uh, there they go, <laughs> off on an adventure. It's hungry work. <laughs> 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 